What is going on everyone, Overfletch here, and today I'm bringing you another Fletch Rambles video. Now this one will probably not be that much RuneScape specific, so if you're, you know, mostly here for RuneScape, oh, yes, I know. If you're here mostly here for RuneScape um, Rambles, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you really soon with another ramble for RuneScape. But actually, before you leave, if, if you're trying to leave, for, just because you don't want to, you don't want to listen to me ramble at DragonCon, I just went to, since I just, I mean, the title. Um, I have a few little mini announcements. Like one, because I went to DragonCon, the next RuneScape video or Equations video will probably be delayed by a few days. So, like, I wasn't able to play pretty much any Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And I played a little bit Sunday, but you know, so just expect it's gonna take a few more days for the video to come out. Let's see, and I have a few more announcements. There should be another ramble this week. If you want RuneScape related, there'll be one of those. Minimum one, maybe two more. If I'm really I'm really like good at with with them, but hopefully another like I said, two completions, two rambles, and I am working on a few more things. I don't want to, I don't really spoil anything, but I am working on a few more things. So I think that's all of that. So like I said, if you don't want to listen to me ramble about DragonCon, thank you so much for listening, and I will catch you really soon, a few more days. But if you want to hear me about my experience at DragonCon, then here it goes. So this past weekend I went to DragonCon, which is a like a sci-fi sci-fi fantasy style um, convention, and this is actually my first ever convention I've ever gone to. I've never been to a convention before, so you know, going in, I didn't really, I didn't know 100% what to expect. I kind of, I had an idea in my head, like, actually, I'm gonna pull my pad because I can, but I expected, you know, just to, I don't know, I pretty much got exactly what I expected. I expected to have a lot of people around me with cosplay and different events that were sci-fi fantasy related and there was that's exactly what I got so I, I I got what I expected so little let's back up to the very beginning so Friday uh you know I finished up my video the one that went up Saturday I think I put it up Saturday uh I don't even remember I think I did yeah I put it up Saturday but anyways so I finished that video and then I had people come over because I had three friends come over and then me and my roommate and my 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 one of my roommates we all went to Dragon Con so they came over and stayed and that was honestly one of my highlights of the weekend was just having my friends you know able to stay over and just hang out like it's such a it's not just like a simple thing but I don't know if you're like a younger if you're a little younger to me like maybe a couple years you'll you'll you learn really to appreciate like like when you when you're in high school and you're able to see your friends every day, you you just take it for granted. But then when you live like you know hours away and you can't see each other to, like in face in person, you know for months and months, being able to like you know all be together in one roof is just just really awesome. It's I don't know I don't know how to say it, but I I, I bet a few people like a few more years older than me probably a hundred percent understand what I'm talking about because you know that's probably even a little harder for them. But anyways about that. So they came over Saturday, Friday night, you know, we did all the shenanigans, and then Saturday we went to the convention. And let's see, first thing, I'm just going to talk about everything, I don't really care, it's a ramble, I can do whatever I want. But yeah, we went and picked up our badges, <laughs> it's funny about the badges, I have two stories about the badges. First one is, um, the lines for the badges were actually pretty long, but we got pretty lucky when we got there, there was a uh, parade on Saturday. Because I believe it goes Friday through Monday. We only went Saturday, Sunday. Because, you know, like, stuff. But anyways, we go there Saturday, and there's a parade that day. So we didn't actually watch the parade at all, because we realized that the, everybody was watching the parade. We could sneak in, get our badges, and be on our merry way. That's what we did. And when we went there, like, it was a decent long line, but it, it was a flowing line. If you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people, but everyone's flowing. So... Basically, we got there at the lucky time. As soon as we left, like, as soon as we got our badges and we all left and went, because, um, they held it in a few hotels in Atlanta, in Atlanta, and if you don't really, it's really hard to understand, if you understand if you've never been to, a, like, a big city before, but basically, imagine, like, a couple blocks or, you know, like, even, like, a mile or two radius, and there's just, like, you know, big hotels, and it's, like, four of those. That's where the convention is. It's in all these different hotels, so... The badges were in one place, and then the main event was in, you know, another hotel. Actually connected with another hotel, but... Anyways, 
So we left, as soon as we left with our badges, there was a line out the door, out the street for the badges. Basically, I think the, I think the, uh, what is it? I think the parade, yeah, parade. I think it ended, like, as soon as we were done, and everybody came and tried to get badges. Like, I, I promise, like, we waited maybe probably 20 minutes in, in total, and that's including, like, waiting 5 or 10 minutes to uh, use an ATM. Because we realized, um, because my friends, three of my friends had gone last year, and two of us, including me, had not gone this year. So they learned last year that if you use cash, it's a lot faster. Like they have lines for cash and credit, you know, or debit, whatever, but and checks, whatever the crap. But anyways, apparently it's a lot faster to use cash. So we just, you know, went to an ATM, and the ATM brings up another story. So you know, when I get my friends, you all have like that group of friends, like you. Like, like the people that you joke around a little bit, a little like like you know you know what I mean. What I'm trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically my friends I are pretty people I really I just our our kind of environment or vibe I guess we put off is just very jokingly fun humor. That's, that's kind of how I explain it. Like we all pretty much try to just have a nice good time you know, with a lot of joking. So I wasn't even paying attention. I was just. Sitting there, you know, at the ATM, trying to get, about to get some monies out. And I don't remember exactly how I said it. I think it's what I said. It was like, I'm, I'm trying to word it. I'm trying to figure out how to word it. But I was with my one friend. And I don't know if, I, I don't know if any of them really care for their names to be mentioned. So I just won't. Just in case. Like, I know personally, like, like I, I love privacy, so I won't. But one of them, I'm making it some, something about, um, I think we were talking about, like, how, like, the money, like, how, like, it, gave you money so fast or how it took like it took your card i think it was like how it takes your card like it just sucks in your card basically and, and i made a joke about like oh there must be like a little jew in there just grabbing it because how fast it was and you know it's pretty you know, it's pretty offensive you really think about it but it's just all wants to be like nice humor like fun whatever but anything about it is like you know i made that little little dumb little comment whatever and it was just between, between me and my friends and you know we make, make like a slight chuckle and all of that. And then the guy turns around in front of me, turns around, just looks at me, kind of like a, not really a saddened face, but kind of like a blank little slate. And he pulls out a necklace. And it has a freaking, it has a Star of David on it. Man, it, it made all of us just laugh. All right, where was I? I had to take a little break. I was kind of partially interrupted. But where was I? Oh, yes, I think, this, I might be skipping some things. Because I don't have the best memory, but um, oh, let me look. Okay, so got my badges. I know I talked about that. I got my badges, and then of course went into the convention. And honestly, the first thing I remember is just like being kind of overwhelmed—not really overwhelmed, just like really, I guess, I guess, in, I don't know, surprised is the word. I was just kind of looking around, like taking everything in. I've never really been to convention, just just kind of like looking around my surroundings, seeing all the people in the cosplay. Seeing some amazing cosplay, seeing some, seeing some okay cosplay, seeing some whatever, but seeing some great, like I said, you know, basically just seeing everything. Speaking of, like, and I don't want to, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't, I'm trying not to get my, I'm trying to get myself like very, I guess, structured, even though it's really hard because I don't have a lot of stuff in order. But let's see. So main thing, like around, like in this convention, I don't really know. I've never been to any other convention. So I don't really know, um, like if, uh, I don't, I don't really know how others are, but this one, like I had, it was mainly, it was focused heavily on panels and there was, so there were some events, but we personally just went to panels. We didn't really go to any type of events, but the first panel we went to trying to think, it was a few and I might be thinking of them out of order, but let's see. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, we went to, crap, I know first we had to like really figure out where we were, and, crap, I'm trying to think the first one, there was one, it was like a Star Wars one, oh yeah, it was supposed to be talking about like, stuff, like, um, it's supposed to, it looked like from the title that it was like, uh, it was going to talk about the movies, like talk about like, Star Wars, it was going to talk about like, I guess like the history and like, whoa, like how this trilogy should be, and then what? And then they basically only started talking about the comics, and none of us read Star Wars comics, so it was kind of, it was the wrong place for us. So 
we realized that about after 20 minutes in, we kind of dipped. We left. So, like I said, it was, I mean, I don't know. We, we probably should have looked into it. Probably should have looked. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. But we should have probably planned more, which hopefully we'll do next year. But, like I said, hindsight's twenty twenty, And it wasn't really the panel for us. So, what panel do we go to next? Like I said, honestly, I have such a bad, like, like memory about order. Let me just talk about a good panel. Speaking of Star Wars, on Sunday we actually went to a, um, what is it? We went to a, oh yeah, Star Wars puppet show. So what it was, it was really cool. It was actually really funny. It was actually like a lot better than you'd think. I, hmm, I might have some pictures I might be able to put up. I don't really know. Actually, no, I don't, I'm too lazy. I'm actually not going to lie. I don't, I don't want to put a lot of work but in these, but yeah. Uh, what are we going to do? Crap. Oh my god, I keep forgetting, but okay. So what this was, it was the original trilogy in a puppet show. And it was actually really funny. The guy was actually like really good at puppeteering. And yeah, like I like I honestly, like it was probably like the most entertainment I had of the weekend. Which you know, is, you might think is kind of weird because it's a puppet show. But it was actually really funny. Like it had, like you had like all the puppets like really like outrageous. Some of them were outrageous. Like Star, like Darth Vader had a really big head, it was like double his size, and it was just all in all a really good fun, fun time, honestly. And speaking of thing, um, if anyone's curious, um, I didn't cosplay. None of my friends really cosplayed. My one friend kind of cosplayed. He just he just had a he just had a slowpoke like hat on. It was like pretty much his entire head, and he just had like a pink hoodie on. So I don't know, I don't know like where the line is for cosplay, but he wasn't like he wasn't like full out so we actually had one friend but they only were there for saturday and we they weren't there for the entire day because you know real life's busy you got you got stuff to do but yeah none of like none of our main five people none of us cosplayed and speaking of cosplay i'd actually would like to do it next year you know, this year it was for i didn't really want to try and do it because you know i'm trying you know trying to learn the, the convention life so maybe next year i can try to do some cosplay that'd be fun but yeah, so there was that panel, and there was the other Star Wars. Speaking of speaking of conventions, I'm not really like you know I like said first panel, so I might be talking a lot of things, and like there might be someone out there who's done like 20, 20 conventions, and like dude pleb, you don't really know it, but you know it's my first convention. But um, anyways, I know one thing I learned is never buy food at a convention. Just walk out because like you know it's like when I'm in Atlanta, and if you've never been to a huge city, like I don't know, I don't know any like. I haven't ever lived in a like near another big city, but basically, like, there's food. There is places everywhere you walk. You know, half a mile. There is probably 20 restaurants from that 20.5 uh, half mile. So it's a lot better just to leave the convention and go buy food somewhere else than it is eat at a convention. Because I know we we stopped one time the first day and we got. We got these. We got burgers, and like I got, I got a water. It cost me nine bucks. The water, the burger was pretty crappy. Not gonna be a lie. It was, it was like a two dollar burger, in my opinion. I had to pay seven bucks for, and the water it was two dollars. But you can't really complain. That's actually a, not a not a bad price for water, honestly. I've been to like stadiums, and they've charged like five bucks for water. So two dollars isn't too bad. But yeah, and that's one thing I learned to, to not buy food at a convention. But let's see. Anything else? There was some. We kept, we kept like I think like two or three. Oh yeah, okay. This one's on Sunday, so I'm gonna I'm I'm I said I wouldn't jump around, but I, I will jump around a little bit just because I'm kind of forgetting some things I think in my head. But yeah, I think of, honestly my highlight of Saturday either be the um the guy I met at the ATM. That guy was actually really cool. He was really funny, and that that was pretty fun. Honestly, seeing all the um the cosplay, and also also I went to a panel on Saturday and Sunday, but it was a two kind of two part. But um the first one Saturday was called Hacking One on One, and it was this really cool one. It was like these guys. It was like people that are like there was like one girl that um, works in social engineering, and then the everyone else is basically like has some type of job that they work with, you know, using hacking and all this stuff. Like I know like some like some of them do like um. You know, like I said, they hack for a living. So, like, it was really cool hearing some of their stories, like some of their funny stories about how, like, about some of their like shenanigans, and also like just hearing some like good tips. Like, I know 
because I said there was hacking 101, and then the next day there was hacking 201, and the hacking 201 especially had a few extra tips, like um, just like special things like they've they've said. So I really I enjoyed that speaking to someone you know from the RuneScape community, especially stuff like social engineering is really cool for me to hear, especially because I I know a lot of friends and I know a lot of people that have had you know social engineering gone on them and also some type of minimal hacking. Although it's mostly, like I said, it's mostly social engineering in the RuneScape community, but anyways, it was like a, it was a really fun panel in my opinion. And one of my favorites was like one of the panelists, he was giving away um, lockpick, lockpick on tool, like on um, tool sets, like, and basically the first night he told people if you gave him his phone password, if you gave him your phone password, he would, he would give you a free lockpick set. But the second night, somebody asked him like, hey, I'll give you my phone password. And he says, oh, no, no, no. Today, you have to give me your main email password. And surprisingly enough, nobody did it. Because apparently that guy said like he used to work with phones a lot and do some other shenanigans with that. So, yeah, that's not a guy that I'd really want to hand over my phone password with. I'd be kind of scared to get back and everything's gone. But anyway, like I said, it was a really, that's probably my favorite panel. Even though it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't anything funny or anything like sci-fi. It was, you know, it's still part of the, like, the gaming nerd, whatever type of community, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it was probably my favorite, favorite two panels, even though it was a two-parter. And let's see, what else was there from Saturday? I swear I'm, like, missing shit. God, I swear I'm missing. I know, I know I am. We didn't only go to two panels. Uh, did we newly... I know we left another one on Sunday. We went to a panel... That was titled um, "Our Kid Shows Related," like like more f like targeted for adults. It was something like I don't know the exact title, but it was something on those along those lines. And you know, most of us we were just thinking it's gonna be stuff like you know, oh, there's values that adults can appreciate, which you know that was true, but some of the some we just didn't really care for what they were really talking about. Like I know, like this was actually wasn't wasn't what it was for me but as soon as we walk in they're like sitting there talking about like lgbt and like um what is it what is the thing that they're talking about like um that wasn't a problem for me i don't really care i that was cool i don't i guess i don't really care the problem it was for me was like when they when they sat there and someone mentioned they were talking about character development and little kid shows and then they brought up my little pony and then they talked about it for like the next 10 20 minutes I don't personally care about My Little Pony. I don't care if I don't care if you're a brony. If if anyone here, anyone's listening to this is a brony, I don't really care. But that's not what I wanted to listen to. I don't. That's not the show I watch, and I probably will ever watch. So I don't really care to listen to it. So personally, after that, I was like, yeah, Adam, this isn't for me. So I just left. So he left. And so there's a few other things, but mainly it for me was just the My Little Pony. I don't. I'm not a brony. I don't plan to ever be, so I don't, I didn't care to listen, to have to listen to, like, you know, people talking about, like, the, the character, like, like, the characters of My Little Pony for an hour, so, yeah, we left, there was another, oh, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was what we, we said we, we were going to go to, but we didn't, because it was, you know, it was Dragon Con, and there was one, like, at night, like, they have, like, a, they have, like, a mature level, like, panels at the, at the at night i think like after like 10 and it was one called dragon sex i really wanted to go like just to just to see what kind of shit was going on but oh that was during hacking so we had to go to hacking oh yeah we're we'll talking about some since i'm since i really can't think of anything let me think of some cosplays oh my god my roommate's practicing again i'm i'm gonna leave it on i'm really sorry but if it annoys everyone please tell me and i'll i'll make them stop or something but it it just annoys me, but yeah, cosplay. So if you ever if you follow speaking of if you follow my Twitter, I posted a few pictures. Um mainly I saw a bender. Futurama is a perfect bender and he had a um sign. It was like a Photoshop of Bernie twenty sixteen, like a Bernie's like slogan. A little like um like the the picture, like not the picture, like the words Bernie twenty sixteen, but he put Bender twenty sixteen and he had like a sign that said like um meat bags have had their chance or something. And it was honestly so fun because like, Futurama is one of my favorite like one of my favorite um shows, yeah, especially one of my favorite shows that is gone now. Really enjoyed that show. I don't, I didn't really watch the later, like the last season as much, but 
I really did enjoy that show, but so seeing Bender was just really cool. I saw I saw about a, over a hundred Harley Quinn, over a hundred Deadpools. There were so many of those. Like it's not even funny. I actually saw someone. It wasn't really cosplay, but someone had this little um, electronic scoreboard, and he had two buttons. If he saw a Harley Quinn, he pressed one button. If he saw Deadpool, he pressed the other button. And both of them were about over a hundred when we saw the guy. That was funny. That was another one. We saw Chef, you know, like a guy, like a, there's a big black guy, you know, like just like Chef, you know, in the show South Park cosplaying as Chef. And it was so funny because we saw him and, um, like we were going to a panel. I know we were going to a panel. I don't know which one, but we were going to a panel and we passed him. But, you know, we only had a few minutes till our panel started, so we had to go. So I just said, I said, hey, Chef. And he goes, hello, children. And he says it exactly like Chef in South Park, the exact same voice. So, that was honestly like I was like a little mini highlight for me because like that that was one of my favorite parts just seeing other people's cosplay like that was so fun to me. Speaking of, like I said, those people like amazing. There was like over there's a lot of Overwatch, um yeah overhype whatever. But I don't personally play so I didn't really care about that as much. But that was there was a lot of that. Oh yeah, we also went to one about um uh, technically BattleBots and that was inter that was really interesting. A lot better a lot of better than I would have thought. Um, I swear I'm still missing panels though, but there's a few more like cosplays. One that was kind of controversial. I saw two people dressed up as the 9/11 as 9/11 cosplay. Yeah, they were just they were like towers burning and they had Barbies at the end, like jumping off. Uh, that was that was uh, pretty controversial. I don't know how people feel about that, but that I did see it. I didn't do it, but. It was there. And also, so, oh yeah, so Saturday night, we were, uh, so, we split, like, the, the group split about 50-50. Uh, 50 of us, 50%, like, a few of us went to Hacking 101, and the other ones went to see a Batman Arkham Knight, I think it was Arkham Knight, uh, panel. And we had to meet up, because it was, like, it was the last panel we were going to. So after that panel, uh, us from Hacking 101, we sat outside the um, main hotel, and we waited for our friends. But while I was waiting, actually when they got here, there's a there's this little there's this little bridge that connects to the big like building hotels like so imagine like two buildings and then there's just like I said there's a little bridge it's called Sky Bridge because you know it's it's enclosed but anyways on that bridge I look up and there's like there's the girl from crap what 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 um, horror movie I found it it was um it was the girl from the ring so I didn't actually think about that but yeah, it was the uh, the long-haired girl from the ring. So this person was um sitting on the sky bridge, and they were just staring at me. I didn't even notice. I just look up, and I just see like I'm just looking around. I, I love I love people watching, especially at a convention. So I look up, and I just see I freaking see um the girl from the ring just staring at me, and I was like, uh oh, I have seven days now to live. But yeah, that was like that was really funny. So what else? So what are, what are my? Let me think. What are what are the good, bad, or the ugly? So, so far my highlight, the good, my number one highlight was probably other than spending time with my friends because honestly that was my favorite part. My favorite part of it was probably hacking 101 and hacking 201 because those are my those are my I probably had the most fun in those panels. I really enjoyed it. and honestly they probably gave me the most insight and the most um. Inform important information that wasn't just about nerd culture. It was, it was kind of like it was actually real information that I could take into my daily life. So that one was probably one of my most like most enjoyable ones. Yeah, that was probably my highlight. I'm probably forgetting like a like a panel or two. So if I am, oh well. But it was probably my favorite. My least favorite time of it. Other than paying, other than like having the um, other than paying a lot of money for bad, for pretty mad food, and which that wasn't the that wasn't my favorite part. Another bad part. Oh yeah, so uh, we by accident kind of got my friend booted. Ah, uh, that wasn't fun. We, we didn't really pay attention, and as a result, got booted. And we were in a um a parking lot, and it looked and it said public parking. It was very, it was poorly signed. It was like really badly signed, and as a result, got booted. So, yeah, my my the thing I learned that day or from that is always make sure you look at the parking lot and make sure you actually read random signs that even if they look obscure, 
you make sure you read everything before you leave your vehicle. I learned that, but that's probably the ugly. The bad wasn't anything. It was pretty priced pretty well. Yeah, I don't. I didn't really have any bad things. I don't. Really, I didn't really have a bad experience. Honestly, I'll go back next year. I think I'm. I'm definitely gonna go back next year. I think as long as I can get a few free, people to go with me. If I had to go by myself, I don't think I'd enjoy it as much. Although there's there's still some good things to do, but it was I think a lot better with people. So yeah, TLDR of that is that I would I will definitely go again. I'll probably cosplay next year. I'll try that. It'd be fun. And yeah, if you if you've never been to a convention and you even slightly remote like remotely want to try one, there I had a lot of fun, and I would heavily recommend anyone else to do one. And especially if you live like semi close to RuneFest, I would heavily advise going to RuneFest. I would love to go to RuneFest, but I unfortunately do not have the funds to go to RuneFest because I live in America, and just a plane ticket from America to London is like a thousand dollars. I don't have a thousand dollars to spend for a for a weekend. So if that's me. I wish I could I'm gonna freaking out, I wish I could go to RuneFest, but maybe one day, maybe in a few years I'll have more money and I I'll have more ability, I guess, to go. Definitely enjoyed that that um convention. I think next year I'll try and plan a little bit better. So when I'm not there when I'm there I'm not like I had to spend, I guess, as much time figuring out what the, what to do. Instead, I can figure out and just look around and see other people's cosplay. Oh, yeah, and speaking of cosplay, I don't think I said... I also saw um, Osimo 4000 from South Park. Uh, speaking of, I, re I really love co uh, South Park. And speaking of cos... Uh, speaking of co oh, my God. A ramble, freaking ramble, but... I saw... Okay, this isn't related, but South Park comes back next Wednesday. That's what I was trying to say. South Park Season 20 comes back next week. If you watch South Park, you need to watch it. I love South Park. Season 19 was great. I can't wait for Season 20. But, yeah, speaking of that, anything else? Um, I don't know. I, Like I said, there wasn't anything really bad. I didn't really have any, I didn't really have a bad time at all anywhere. There was like a panel I went to that I really, I didn't enjoy. There was one panel. Like I said, I didn't really enjoy, but not, not like not bad. Yeah, that's basically it. I don't, I don't really have anything else to say. I pretty much just said everything. Like I said, it was cool cosplay, fun panels, fun time. Had good friends. I mean, I have good friends, of course, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I believe that is kind of it. He said there really isn't anything else to say, and if I just say I'm just trying to like get more time out. Yeah, like I said, I would love to cosplay next year. I would love to do probably some RuneScape styled cosplay. So I'm gonna have to learn probably probably I'll probably do it like next spring or something. But learn how to do some cosplay. Hopefully some RuneScape cosplay. That'd be fun. If any of you guys do any of that stuff, let me know. I don't. I'm curious. Like if anybody else actually like has gone conventions or has done cosplay or anything fun like that. If or if anyone's going to RuneFest. Speaking of RuneFest, I am going to be covering RuneFest heavily. I will be probably doing like probably multiple rambles about RuneFest like as they're going on because there's a lot of stuff going on for RuneFest so I am very excited for RuneFest and RuneFest is not this weekend and it's not it's either next weekend like the, the like next weekend or the weekend after okay I just looked and it's actually next weekend so like a, a, it's over a week if you know what I mean so yeah, that's that's gonna be fun, and I said I will heavily cover it, just like my other rambles where I do like the behind the scenes and stuff. I will be doing multiple ones, and I'll probably do one about like um, I'll probably do like I said multiple. So like they 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 might even come out together, and I might release two in one go or something. I don't know yet. I've never released two videos in a day, but I'll probably like I said I'll probably do one like maybe the main stage, and I'll probably I'll probably just figure them out. If they're I'll probably do them like if there's um. Like, let's just pretend that one of the panels, or one of the things from RuneFest only covers 10 minute content, then I'll probably add it to another one, but if I can do each of them in like 30 minutes, then I'll probably do a couple of them. And I'll have also my reflections, like my thoughts on RuneFest 2016, and how I feel about it. Anyways, I believe that is it for this one. There's nothing really else, other than, like I said, Iron Man Completion Series probably out in two days. Maybe even three days, like I said, I'm 
I lost some time because of, you know, the Dragon Con, so I partially apologize, but again, I have things, and, you know, I want to enjoy things, so. And, you know, I'm not making any type of revenue from YouTube, so it's not like I have to be forced to make stuff, but I personally love playing RuneScape, so content will come out because I play RuneScape, but anyways, I really, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one, and probably in a few more days. I'll probably see you in a few more days. Anyways, take care, everyone.